In this video, we're taking a look at this, the SanDisk dual drive, a USB flash drive that is type A and type C. Let's go. So why are these particular flash drives so very cool? Well, it's because they're compatible with your older devices using a standard USB plug on this end and your newer devices, your iPad Pro, your Android devices using USB-C on this end. And you get all that flexibility for not much more than a regular USB-A or C drive. If you want to check it out for yourself, there's links down in the description to where you can pick up one of the SanDisk dual drives. You can see that this one here is 32 gigabytes, but they do come in larger sizes depending how much data you need to transfer and store. So let's now open up this package, take a closer look and put this to the test with some of our USB-A and USB-C devices. So the convenience of this drive is that if you have older desktop and laptop computers, you've got a USB-A plug there that you can copy your files onto the drive. You can then flip it over and if you've got your Android devices, your iPad Pro or your newer laptops with USB-C, you can copy your files that way and then you can share all of your files between your different devices. All right, time to put this to the test. I've got my iPad Air 2 with a Lightning to USB 3 adapter here. If you want to learn how to connect USB devices to your lightning based iPhones and iPads check out the video up the top and in the description but what we're going to do now is engage USB mode plug this in and copy some files over to our USB drive and boom you can see that we have this drive here called no name we can tap on that one to open it and look at the contents you can see here we've just got a couple of the user guides and different files that were on this originally but now we can copy over a bunch of files using the iPad files app here to this flash drive so let's start copying a few files. We'll start with this beat loop up here. We'll tap and hold and then go copy on that one. We'll come over to our new drive and we'll tap and hold again and we'll hit paste. And there you go. It's going to copy that directly onto this flash drive. It's there now. Let's copy a few more files onto here and then we'll show you how we can transfer those and use them on any other device. Let's grab a GarageBand project, but we do have to use a zipped up version of that file. If you want to learn more about that, check out the video in the description. We'll again copy on that one. And it's as simple as coming over to here, tapping and holding and hitting paste. And there you go. It's copied across that zip file of that project as well as our audio file. We'll put a few more on here and then we'll switch over to the iPad Pro to see how we can work. So you can see we've got all sorts of files here. We've got that zip file. We've got some image files here. We've got a video file and an audio file as well as those user guides there. So now what we can do is copy these over to any other device, whether it's got USB-A or USB-C. Let's plug in the iPad Pro and take a look. So here is the iPad Pro. This is the 2020 model. The 2018 model also has USB-C. So we can slide out our USB-C connector. We plug directly into the port. We don't need any adapters or anything for the iPad Pro. And like magic, it's going to pop up with the drive name. We tap on that one and here you go. We've got all of those files on here ready to go. Now, one of the drawbacks I did want to mention is that you'll notice here I've had to pop the corner of my iPad out of its case because this thing takes up a little bit of additional space there. It doesn't plug directly in, but that will depend on the type of case you have as to whether you need to do that. But it's something to keep in mind with this and any other other devices that have a plug that has a little bit of size around it. And you can also buy an extension cable, which is a good idea to have, which can get this a little bit away from your iPad, meaning you can plug anything directly in. And there'll be links to those down in the description as well as where you can pick up the SanDisk dual drive. So to add more files or folders to this drive, we use the exact same process. So let's say create a new folder here. We'll tap on that one and let's just call this folder media. Now we can use that same method. So let's find a couple of files to copy to this media folder here on the iPad Pro. Here's a few audio files. We want to grab all of these this time. So we'll select and tap on all of those like so. We'll tap on the move button here. Now when you're moving from this location to a drive, it will actually copy them. It will keep them behind. We tap on no name. This time we want them in this media folder. And there you can see we've got the copy option. We'll tap on that one. It's going to go away and copy those five audio files over to our flash drive. 
That is done. We can now come back to this drive, go into that media folder, and there they are. They're good to go. You can, of course, use this to back up your photos, any other files you have on here. And there's a heap more videos about using the Files app and backing up and copying your files down in the description. And if we now want to take these files and put them back on our Mac, our PC, our iPhone, or our iPad, we can simply unplug from the drive. We convert it over to our USB end, and now let's plug it back into our iPad. Boom, once again, we tap on no name and we are back in and there are our new media files there ready to go and ready to use and copy to wherever we want. And again, you can use this with any of your other devices. Anything that supports USB-A or USB-C is going to be good to go. And then you can share, backup, copy and transfer all your files and you'll never have to worry about storage on your devices ever again. Once again, there are links to where you can pick up the SanDisk dual drive down in the description, as well as a bunch of other videos about copying, transferring, and backing up files using your iPhone and iPad. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you next time.